What's your group? Do you gumpa, right? Welcome to the event presentation for the 2020 edition of the Do You Gumpla Open Championships, or DOC 2020. This is the Manitoba Gumpla community's yearly independent event that we run outside of hosting the local GBWC. Because of the pandemic, this year's event is our biggest ever, with over $3,400 in prizes. DOC 2020 is split into two courses, the competition course and the lucky draw course. All eligible entries are entered into both. Today, we will look at all the entries and name the three winners of the competition course. We have a hundred entries here, so get comfy, get some popcorn, and let's get started. Our first entry is Sylvana with the sand rock. This is her first build after years of kind of just watching us. I gotta say, I love the background full of sand and rocks. Tiffany is one of our youth builders, getting creative and photogenic with a petite bear guy. Remember, bamboo plants are good luck. Trevor is another youth builder, showing off some building muscle with this IBO build. Great display of composition using dynamic posing and background. When he's not cross-stitching, Mike is a resident SD specialist. Awesome use of color to personalize this build. Andy with a beautiful paint job using the EVA color palette as inspiration. Andy is a member of Vanpla, the Vancouver Gunpla group. I've bonded with these guys over Korean barbecue. Definitely check this group out if you're in the area. Jack just started the hobby recently, and this is his first build. A beautiful metallic paint job. Definitely a strong start. Kelly, our local guru, never disappoints with a complete transformation of the MG Kyrgios. With a more mass-produced look and a practical color palette, Kelly's builds always manage to add to Gundam lore. Ray is an Ontario builder, demonstrating some amazing skill here. While this may look like an MG or an RG, it's actually an HG from Build Fighters. With scratch build parts and some subtle yet impressive scribing, Michael demonstrating how amazing an RG build can be with effort and care. Really demonstrating why people love the hobby and quality you get right out of the box. Not just that, but a masterclass in balancing the new without a base. Bravo! Ava is a youth builder that builds with a parent. I can't state the importance of these non-Gundam kits enough when it comes to building with the family. Not everyone has to be a mech fan to enjoy the hobby. Gotta mention, the camera work here that maximizes the pose of this mostly static kit. Chris, with an impressive spare parts build. Chris has been in the hobby a long time and is a major contributor to multiple communities. Recently starting his own podcast. That might explain why he has such amazing parts lying around. From Alberta, Edso, taking cues from Bloodborne. Look at that paint job. I don't remember seeing anything this shiny in the game though. G Kiddo with that anodized metal finish. This Alberta builder sets the bar high. It's hard not to be mesmerized by that satin finish. Kathy, a first time builder showing off a sentimental favorite. She's ready to move on to the next steps with tools and skills. Part of the fun here is looking back to see how much growth can happen with each event. Thanks for sharing. Lin Lee is a mentor to a pair of youth builders, showing how much fun you can have with a mech and a big gun. A little weathering goes a long way. CRN with a skillful demonstration of weathering and diorama integration. A beautiful message about impermanence. When Gampla becomes artwork. AKA Suki is a resident RG specialist and Instagrammer. Definitely check out his work. He knows how to maximize an out of box build. Marcio showing us how the fundamentals of finishing can make all the difference. It's all here. Seam removal, shading, basing, painting, weathering, and chipping. And always willing to learn more. Aaron is an expert at bringing models and toys to life. This out-of-box build looks like it jumped right out of the box on its own. He always has something new around the corner. Darcy, inspired by EVA Unit 1 and that light wing effect. This is a first paint attempt, hand painting at that. Very impressive. Definitely want to see what you have in store for us next. 
Elliot is a young builder that has been building his skill set over the past few years, and it shows. Just the right amount of wash, knowing where to apply it and where to remove it. And battle damage! I know builders that have been in this hobby for over 20 years that are still scared to battle damage plastic. Great work! Paul with an SD build, demonstrating how posing can add endless amounts of attitude. Don't mess with this guy. Shane knows paint, and I ask him a ton of questions. Here he's pairing a professional paint job with LEDs. Playing hide and seek with Camille and these two Zeta builds, reminding us how a name can start an intergalactic war. Michael, with his first custom build, comes with armor upgrades, a new weapon design, and even built-in storage. Home run right out of the gate. Gonna go ahead and give this one the Drake stamp of approval. Johnny, flexing that Gundam base exclusive, making everyone here jealous. Looking solid, and great use of additional bases. Perfect. Simon here going steampunk on all of us, and really experimenting with color and texture. Using that faux bronze to great effect. Very HG Wells. Matthew has really been honing his customization style over the past few events, and each build gets better and better. A perfect match of style and color here, with a load of personality. A Gunpla showing us how color can make a kit feel completely fresh. Hi Synth! Sounds very in-universe. A Gunpla has been building up quite a collection of YouTube videos too. Definitely check him out. Alfie usually only builds perfect raids, so I'm happy he broke the trend with this one. Extensive battle damage and weathering, with weapons still lodged in him. Unstoppable rage. And that Macy can't hold? Well, now it's flying at you. You may recognize Ivan as the photographer at Icon, and our local conventions. He's also been building his skills with a brush, demonstrating numerous SD painted builds along with his partner in crime. Jessica is extremely active in our fandom community, showing off a great sense of color with this hand-painted gem. A couple that builds together? Well, they build together. Brian, using black to great effect with a striking orange motif. Talk about a custom upgrade. Loading up this mech to inflict maximum damage. Turner with another great flex, this time P. Bandai with the unique polyball design. Great choice and great build. Lance, making mass-produced units look as juiced up as possible. Backpack, artillery, weapons. This guy is ready to go to war. Rowell with one of his signature builds. Nature reclamation theme. With a lot of mixed media. If you look closely, you can see some very Ghibli spirits helping with the process. No Gundam fandom is complete without Carol Rowe. Kaylin here representing all that fan service with Tamama. Another first build and another great start into the hobby. Squizzard's got some squad goals here, with air, land, and sea fully represented. Spam tactics with ground cleanup. Every angle is covered. Brad showing us what mileage looks like on a mech with another masterclass in weathering. Even old mechs can get new accessories with a modified tilt rotor and that beastly rifle. Tim getting funky with bear guys and her Pokemon costumes. Head swap in a great effect. What a fun concept. Blair really went to work on this Dynamis, turning the long range specialist into a CQB powerhouse. Armor and weapon modifications and a deeper color palette to complete the look. Asian Vince with this artistic piece, customized and sculpted using styrene and putty. There's definitely a story here waiting to be told. Look at that paint job. Jack impressing us again with a mix of painting finishes, each highlighting the next. Sinanju never looks so classy. Will showing off some theming and composition with this background diorama. Reminding us, wars aren't fought in pretty places.
Rick was in Duyu Gunpla even before Duyu Gunpla. The dramatic style of G Gundam is demonstrated perfectly with a clean build and bold panel lines. Arthur just started painting and weathering with this impressive showing. For an experiment in weathering, he certainly looks like he's been doing it for years. Kit bashing is Connor's forte, and here we have another great example of that skillful eye, continuing the familiar story of ever-growing enhancements to great effect, all brought together with a unique paint scheme. This is Amber's first build, joining her husband and son in the hobby, starting with her favorite mech in a classic pose. Great choice! Anthony's theory here is you need to be ready for anything. With the GMGM -GM as the base and massive melee weapons, that Gatling gun really pushes the message through. A number of firsts for Connor. First MG, first full paint job, first weathering attempt. Gotta say, he knocked it out of the park. Mark is our red frame specialist, and the entry here is no exception. The high-res red frame is pure fun right out of the box, capable of some sick poses. And Mark, he's always happy to demonstrate them. Bling Gunpla, definitely showing the bling. A matte finish with metallic accents always complement each other really well, especially when handled with this much care. Jesse's MG New looking spectacular. Pulling off the armor cladding to expose additional detail, Deckled up with water slides. Solid. Chris's custom build has a pretty long name to go with a very impressive custom look. This is what channeled creativity looks like. A fresh new look that looks completely in-universe and combined with a challenging color palette. Matt K Builds has been helping our members build new skills since joining the group. Those skills he's shown us? Adding LEDs and working with specialty paint both on full display with this 90s sci-fi original. Brendan's Gussian means business, and is ready to hit the ground running. A standout paint job, mixing earth tones with metallics, really helps both get noticed. Victoria submitted the GLs from Rerise. Not an easy kit to tackle because of the dark colors. Definitely looking great here. Excellent work! Derek, showing us all the top tier RG EVA Deluxe set. Accented with a full special coating paint job and even more fluorescent green. Great composition. This literally looks like the next P Bandai exclusive. Xena checked all the boxes with this RG Justice build. Clean as can be build, deep bold panel lines, spotless decal application. If Gundaming was an actual verb, this would be it. Kenneth stayed in-universe, using this modern color scheme with the menacing old-school design, with an unobtrusive weathering approach to let us appreciate this paint job. This is a beast you don't want to meet in an open field. Built and panel line. Ernest described his wing build as fun. Looking great, keep it up. Youth builder Madden is already building dioramas with action and a story. Battling it out in a cave full of gems. I'm pretty sure not everyone is going to walk out of there alive. Vern started building after watching his son enjoy the hobby. Glad to see you enjoy the hobby yourself. And great work on the RG. If there was a prize for best build name, David would win it hands down. Battle damage, smoke, soot weathering, with a fire and smoke effect. This is how you commit to a build. Wendy, giving us some action shots with this SD crossbone. Love the use of bolts in the diorama. MacGyver would be proud. The GM dude himself, Drake, and the MG Jigen. Proving simple is awesome. Once built, this kit is really hard to put down. Marie, Proving Gundam isn't just for Gundam people. She's brought an entirely different hobby here, and it's awesome. Petite Bear Guy never looked more alive. Employee of the Month Mansoor only wants chaos. Bringing life to an old kit with a little paint and weathering. 
Mansur is full of surprises. So polished. Anthony's paint application here is simply striking. Gloss is used to great effect here, with a mirror-like shine. Better get some sunglasses. Called the last stand, that effect is just wild. Bandai recently released a Metal Spirits figure with a similar effect that comes nowhere near how awesome this is. The paint and weather complete the look from the final battle. Frank is a longtime member that made his mark with metal finishes, and the trend continues. Always wear sunglasses when checking out Frank's work. Mary is showing us one of her first builds, and it's a savage one. New going all predator on Sazabi is something I didn't know I needed. That's quite a trophy. Dan has never been afraid to experiment, so this is tamed by his standards. A straight up clinic on how strong fundamentals get you consistent and amazing results. The Wodum Pod is one of the most unique builds of the year. Great to see Jeff taking advantage of this challenge. Christian is a dedicated RG builder. The care and attention here is outstanding. Expert level cleanup and metallic accents. The RG line never looks so good. We all need a little bit of Kapol in our lives. Thanks Cruz for making that happen. Awesome composition. This legitimately looks like a G Gundam mech. Cyrus originally submitted the 1.0 to the Great Canadian Build-Off. This 2.0 version comes with custom plot plate work on the armor, a thematic diorama, and mixed media use, setting a new benchmark for design. Hashtag upgrades. Hannah, amping up the original Exia with even more Celestial Aura. That Pearl and Candico combination is killer. Bring on the aliens. Simplecaster is a major contributor to Do You Gumpla events. Chances are, he's the one that recruited you into our community. Ever the cheerleader, now we get to marvel at this mirror finish of a paint job. Atticus is a youth builder showing off that energy. This is exactly how I imagine an SD Zaku would jump into battle. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this. We got more P Bandai in the house. Mark with that flex, making everyone even more jealous. Why Bandai? Why must new molds be P Bandai? This is Ann's second build, and he's off to a great start bringing as much attitude as possible to this SD build. A different Anne, who recently just got back into the hobby and is showing no signs of ever stopping. The EXSR is great because of all the customization that comes right out of the box. The weathering here is great because it helps distinguish the limited color separation the kid is known for. Ardafanakan is a YouTuber that speed builds Bandai and Kotobukoi kits. She leans heavy into the cat theme here with a brown hair variation, and it looks fantastic. Alvin loves the old school, and this is an old school beast, with some of the heaviest armor elements in the series. Amazing in-universe look. Azriel, with the paint skills on full display, using this custom color palette. Looking sharp with the metallic and deep green accents. Martin, showing us his first MG build, and just how awesome this Justice kit can look. Great work! Where did this guy come from? Job keeps impressing with his custom kit bash work. No exception here. If the Master were ever to make an appearance in Build Fighters, I can't see it getting any better than this. Michael knows exactly which are my favorite mechs and the GPO2 scores high on that list. This HD is looking amazing, with excellent use of highlight painting. Look at those pistons! Andrew comes to us as a founding member of Side6, a Toronto group, and helped put together the Great Canadian Build-Off. Here he's showing us just how amazing the entry-grade RX-782 is. No masking at all to highlight the color separation, with fun use of multiple acrylic brands 
for that deep weathered look. Seriously, this could be a Mayan artifact. Christy is a parent that just joined her son in the hobby. She couldn't have picked a better kit. The entry grade RX-782 is a perfect starting point. Jeff's last two event entries have been MG Ball inspired builds. This time, he's flexing some P Bandai for all of us, with a diorama base for good measure. Are those scorpions real? Lilani is a youth builder where Gunpla runs in the family. With simple elements, she's able to share a narrative and create a relationship. Storytelling might just be her biggest talent. Michaela, showing us Bear Guy Pretty at full power. Where Bear Guy is a cold hearted and soulless killer, Bear Guy P is full of rage. Great use of effect parts to build on the legend. Earl, coming back to Gundam with this RG build. Welcome back to the dark side. Soon we'll have pizza and cookies. Great work on this clean build. Cyril, channeling the cold with this transient glacier. The caption says it all. Wings as bright as the moon, yet sharp as blades. Tyler is constantly experimenting with color. This time, we are rewarded with this eye candy. Literally. Demonstrating color selection and airbrush control. This is just pure fun. Justin, bringing this SD to life with dynamic composition. And that gold, it goes a long way. Plamo Yama is constantly perfecting his paint approach, showing us what a new type Jigen would look like. Amaro takes them out with flawless paint jobs and brings them back less flawless. Why do we keep giving this guy new toys? Nick does a great job representing the hobby at local events through his thoughtful panels. He accomplishes that classic clean look with a very modern F91 2.0. The biggest problem with the Titan color scheme is that it can be washed out when on display. Leo fixes that problem with a good amount of eye-catching gold and a healthy dose of metallics. Wow! And there you have it, a hundred amazing entries. We want to thank everyone for participating. Really, this response has been incredibly overwhelming. I think Duyu Gumpla has proven that this hobby is for everyone, and it can be approached in any way you want. It can be fun, it can be an oasis, it can build bonds, and here at Duyu Gunpla, it can build a community. Now, our competition course winners. In third place, we have a build that exemplifies the craziness that is Build Fighters. Job and the Otakimaru Kensai, taking the master out of its comfort zone and giving us a custom look that I believe only Job can pull off. Job has built his sense of mech style into something very special. Looking forward to see what new challenges he takes on. Second place. This is the most understated of our three winners, with a custom look that feels completely in-universe. Chris, with the Freedom Gundam Yamashiro test type. Dialing back the eccentricity here, this is a combination of elements that just naturally fit, though taken from different ends of the series. With one build, Chris starts a side story of his very own, blending Sentinel-type theming into the Seed universe. And first place. This build has everything that is needed to represent the pride we feel as a community. Cyrus and the Moose Gundam 2.0. This is creativity and execution at its finest. From the ground up, each inch of this build fits its theme and creates a character that needs to exist in the pages of a manga or on the screen. Bring on that shiny finger. Hashtag no lumberjacks. Congratulations to all the competition course winners, and thank you to everyone for making this event such a success. This has been Ariel for Do You Gunpla.